Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're gonna have another fun episode of RickFeed and we're gonna talk about another older theme. This week it's LEGO Galaxy Squad. I'm your host, Sakoda. I'm Leo. I'm Starbreaker. And I'm Josh. And hello everyone. How's well, everyone doing today? We're doing well, right. you know. Friday. I'm doing well. It's Friday, yeah, <laughs> it's I don't right. have to work tomorrow. That's the greatest thing about today. It's Friday, but it's not a... <laughs> It's, I don't have the weekend to look forward to. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I got I don't, uh, I don't work tomorrow, but I do work Sunday, so... Is what it is. I had, a, I had a very nice week at work. I had to process a lot of documents. It's oh. great. <laughs> it sounds like great fun. <laughs> oh, that it's great. So, that sounds so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're here. We're here for another uh, Brickfried Rewind. Yeah. It's always fun. Yeah, we this week we once again didn't have that many Lego news. Um mm-hmm. so we thought we're gonna talk about another older theme a lot of us here like. Um Galaxy Squad. And I think we mentioned it on the the Ultra Agents one, right? That we wanna do yes. Galaxy Squad. We wanna do that. Yeah, next. the the prequel. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I didn't know that until you guys mentioned that. Since I was yeah, there are some into, some into fun a... connections with Galaxy Squad to other themes, cool. I guess. And I think we we can get is it, into is this that not a bit the too. only one? Um, oh no, <laughs> definitely. Okay, not. I think I think that might be a fun point to start this out to go a bit over like the the story and context. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a fun fact I found in my research. There's a little comic strip from the Lego magazines that kind of connects. Um, Galaxy Squad to Monster Hunters. <laughs> monster Fighters. Oh, yeah. oh, Monster Fighters. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Are you good? So basically, at the end of Monster Fighters, when they have all the moonstones, right? That's what they were called. Mm-hmm. Um, they send out like a beam of light, and that beam of light attracts the aliens from Galaxy Squad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's the Lego cinematic universe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It um, makes me it makes me wonder just how many themes are connected, but it also does remind me that um I wanna say it was the Lego Atlantis game had um Oh yeah. Brutaka's mass ha- dimensional gates or whatever. Yeah, it has the old Mac. <laughs> it's pretty Which cool. is- it, it, it said it was like an ancient relic or something, and it's it makes me wonder, like, if there was any kind of loose timeline planned for connecting just kind of any and every theme. I mean, jo- Josh's the right guy for that topic, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I I also uh, want to mention that um, a Galaxy Squad. There's a Galaxy Squad reference in Ninjago. Really? Oh, really? Uh huh. Um, this I didn't know about. The uh the Ronin mech. I'm trying to find a good picture of it. The Ronin mech has the um the symbol of the uh, uh the red team. Has, oh like, the yeah, on. I remember that. Was it on the oh. skateboard or no? no it was, it was on the on, mech itself. It was on the left right? leg. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I have the mech in my other room. Oh, there's the Exo Four symbol on there too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man, Exo um, Force. Now, if you if you then connect so if you connect ninjago to galaxy squad you can also connect galaxy squad to ultra agents and of course you can connect ultra agents to ninjago so it's a big like triangle a big reference web. yeah big web. <laughs> and if you connect um if you then connect galaxy squad to monster fighters um then you can theoretically connect monster fighters to ninjago as well and monster fighters, they go into a place called the monster realm. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> and if is... you can, if you can connect Atlantis to Bionicle, you can also connect Mars Mission and Power Minus via the Clutch Powers movie, which kind of connects <laughs> it to Ninjago, <laughs> but mean, not can, really. I mean, you can also. I mean, you can also connect. Um, you can connect uh, Atlantis and Power Miners. They're they're technically in the same universe. They share a character as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean you got that. Um <laughs> It makes me wonder like which ones are like fully represented in each other's universes though, and which ones are just referential, like 
I think a lot of it is just referential. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. But it's Probably, fun to yeah. think about. Yeah. yeah. This, is how, this is how my the Lego verse got started. Is is <laughs> mostly the connection between like Galaxy Squad, uh, Monster Fighters, Ultra Agents, and Ninjago. That's kind of like that little that little bit it was enough to go off of. <laughs> That's cool. So, but yeah, I think it's today we today is mostly up. focused on on Galaxy Squad. One mm -hmm. one last thing that's kind of like puts Galaxy Squad into a bit of an interesting perspective is that Galaxy Squad was the last original space theme Lego did in 2013. Oh, you're right. So since then wow. there have been a bunch of like classic space references and Lego movie stuff, of course, but it's the mm -hmm. last like fully original space theme yeah. Lego did. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah. we get another one soon. That would be nice. Because now that you mention it, 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 it has been a minute, so. And we mm. also never got Ninjago original theme appropriation for space, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's, that's Maybe probably that's next. Maybe that's for the better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, Tommy always said, like, that's the, the least, that thing he would want to do is space <laughs> Ninjago, <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, technically they did, but not really. Yeah. Space Jago. <laughs> so, and if you want to think about it uh, a little a little more, um, the aliens that they discover that, that the ninja discover are bugs. When they get our terrorists are bugs. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah. but yeah, I have I have a very soft spot for this theme. I I like it. I uh I only had a few of them, like when it first came out, I think I only had three. And uh, last year I went on kind of a, a binge buy and I like went and bought uh, pretty much all the sets except for two of them. I don't have the Mantis one and the uh, the little, the smallest like bug set. But I, I ended up getting, I, I got the Mosquito one, the um, the Warp Stinger at Brick Fair a couple years ago. And, uh, and then after that I was like, I built it and I was like, I gotta have them all now. <laughs> and I ended up, that I tends ended up, to be how how buying Lego goes, though. I that, feel that was directly after my uh, old rage just binge by two. Oh so gosh, I, I kinda, <laughs> your wallet! I stopped. Yeah, I, kinda, oh, I spent oh. a lot of money. <laughs> um, I, I ended up spending. Uh, this is um, uh, a, a little a little spoiler. Sorry, Leo, but I ended up spending one hundred eighty dollars on the uh, the Galaxy, the, the Galactic Titan. Um. Which is way more than it retailed for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it retailed yes. for hundred. But <laughs> um, but yeah, that was like that was the hardest one to get. I, I, like really nobody sold it used. Uh, I remember there was one guy who uh, was selling it for, I think eighty, but it just came with the ship. It didn't come with any of the mini figures or like any of the you know, side builds or anything like that. And oh. I remember talking to him, and I like I I really you know I. Uh, I think he, it took him like a couple months or like a month or so um, before I just kind of gave up on it because like I would message him and then like, you know, I would see like, I, th I think I paid for it, but then he like never shipped it. And I kept asking him like every single day if he, oh, no. you know, after, after, after a while. I was like, hey, have you shipped it yet? And he's like, oh, I'll do it at the end of the week. And then at the end of the week. There was no end of the week. <laughs> there was no end of the week. And I kept asking him. And then eventually I was just like, hey, I'm going to get my money back. I Like, this isn't worth it. Bye. And I did. And then I used that money to buy a sealed set. Right. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. And then I opened it and I built it. And it's sitting on my shelf right now. Dude, so. I mean, uh, bu uh, buying sealed old Lego is like a different experience than buying it used, in my opinion. Because it's really... Yeah. Uh, like, the Galactic titan was one of those ones where like i really wanted to get it and have like the full experience it was kind of like the ultra copter mm -hmm. where um it, it's like a really really cool ship and I just yeah kinda, it's a I different experience it. but you have to always like think if it's worth the money for you yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. um yeah do you guys think we should get into the sets i think it's yeah. time yeah uh just just as some like quick notes the theme originally came out in january 2013 but there were some sets released prematurely in the u.s and canada in november 2012 um That's and the, the theme wasn't available in some parts of europe according to brickopedia but i couldn't find a source on that but yeah 
Um, okay, then we can go into the first set, and the first set is set number seven zero seven zero zero Space Warmer. Um, this set came for eleven ninety nine and had eighty six pieces. It's a nice little starter. It's a yeah. yeah, cool. Honestly, order. yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that, that right creepy there. little like claw mouth thing. It's get the the hero figure with the big old gun, just like they used to with Lego, and then you get the very. I, I don't. I. How do you guys feel about that blaster piece, like that alien blaster piece that they introduced I, it's back then? Fine. I, it's, I think it's perfect for like a. It very much reminds me of like an eighty space movie, I guess. Yeah, I agree <laughs> like, with that. It's, I, it's yeah. very reminiscent of that. For, of those for Dad, of... it looks great. Yeah. I think. I I think that um, <laughs> it doesn't really fit the bug aesthetic very well, but like that's true. I think yeah, that that is the main that's issue. That's true. There, there are some. Like... There are some that's... weapons later on that I'm gonna like touch that, that I'm gonna point out that like fit a lot better. But I mean, it's it, it's fine. It's an alien gun, you know, whatever. Yeah. 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 What. What I um I like how all of the 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 bug ships in this are like based off of real bugs. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So like this one that looks kinda of like a gnat, you know? Yeah. It's the smallest one. It would really be very cool. swarmable. And um and they kinda of give you like a little basic alien. So if you want to buy a bunch of these, you can like just, you know, build your own army. Um yeah. the one thing the one problem is that uh this theme came out in what year? 2013. 13. 2013. Yeah. Um, and it's all the alien ships have dark red pieces. Oh no. Uh, are they super brittle? They are super brittle. Oh and, and no. It's, it's, it's the Extra Force arms too. So, like, yeah. you know, oh, those things are going to break oh, as soon as you try to, you know, bend them or anything. Oh no. I recently and, had a, a dark red piece from like that era break on me and I, I feel the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I I bought the um <laughs> the the side builds in the Galactic Titan. Uh, one of the pieces broke when I was building it. No, <laughs> oh, no, no. One hundred eighty dollars set, and one of the pieces breaks. Dude. Did you? I'm assuming you bought a replacement piece. No, I just right? I just like left it out because it wasn't that that big of a deal. That major. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that major. It was just, but like um, but that set in particular has a bunch of the the Exo Force arms in dark red. And I was like, every time I was putting them on, I was, I was cringing a little bit. I was like, please <laughs> don't break. I don't have a replacement for you. That is, that is scary. I do really like the trans neon green wing pieces. Um, they have in this, they have it in some of the others too. But I think that's perfect for that insect kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. I like the minifigure the, designs a lot. This one we get is... an alien Great. bugoid. And the robots just call Robot Sidekick Blue. <laughs> they don't really have names. <laughs> Who needs names when you have colors? Like the yeah. red one. This is just the blue one. I agree. They have really good headpieces. Yeah, the they have all. Is great. They have cool headpieces, and they're printed too. I really like the robots. I wish I got some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wonder how much these things, like the figures, run for on Brickling because I haven't. No, they're not. The they're not that expensive. They're not that expensive. That's okay, good. that's good. Speaking of it being not expensive, on the I, I guess this is a good way to lead into that. The second-hand market for this set is not bad. Uh, if you want a used copy, it costs you about ten dollars and thirty-six cents USD. Uh, oh wow! But this is not accounting shipping or anything. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want a new copy, it's eighteen dollars and forty nine cents. <clears throat> but that that's really good, actually. That is like, really cheap. All things for, considered, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For an old set, um, you know, that's surprisingly cheap. Uh, obviously, my the way that I looked at this was at Bricklink. Um, yeah, I, went, I mean, it's, I it's used, an estimate. Yeah, yeah, it's so used would be just complete. It doesn't matter if it has a box or not. Um, it's whatever the cheapest price is. I'm not going to go and sit through and look on all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you want to buy the uh, minifigures, by the way, um, the alien bugoid is like the cheapest. It's like a dollar. Oh, really? The, um, yeah, the blue robot's like a dollar fifty. I will oh, build wow. an alien bugoid army. <laughs> <laughs> Much more uh, economical than Star Wars the, fans uh, have it. To be 
fair, none of the sellers have more than one. So no! Fail no. So the shipping's shit. gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Maybe I won't build an alien bugoid army. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Okay. Gotta say, yeah. looking at these two, like I'm noticing some of the, uh, just like the regular lime green plate pieces too, and combine that with the dark red, and these gotta be some pretty brittle sets. Yeah, I mean the lime yeah. <laughs> green wasn't brittle at that time anymore. I think, right? Wasn't because um, I thought it took a while for it to get. Are you talking about the light green pieces? Yeah. Yeah. Not the olive green. No, no the the the. the bright no, green. The light green no the bright green pieces weren't aren't brutal uh no. my experience that's just like uh, a bionicle okay. thing from 2007 but by yeah, 2013 that that, that wasn't personally a speaking <laughs> i don't feel it's just a bionicle thing because i've had a, a lot of tiles specifically uh tiles oh. and plates in lime mm -hmm. end up with cracks or stress fractures or whatever else like okay. like the the rubber claw pieces or whatever those whatever plastic they use for those those are fine but um with plates or even like that one by two grill piece that slanted grill i've i've had so many of those end up with stress cracks on the sides both from like atlanta sets or just stuff generally of that time frame okay yeah i, I can't i can't really uh, just from personal experience i didn't have any problems with um the the pieces yeah. it was mostly just like the red pieces but that's fair i mean I I tend to I tend to not just like throw stuff, you know. So I'm not I'm not very violent with the pieces, so I can't. Really tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have patience. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll admit some of my parts are kept in a bin, but others I've been pretty careful with. Like I uh, I have the it was like the Toys R Us exclusive uh, sea turtle from Atlantis. Hmm. Um, ooh, ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I I think some of the stickers I think it came with stickers on the uh like the, the sub the mini sub vehicle thing that came with it. I think those are kinda starting to wear off, but I've taken pretty good care of those and I've still had some of the uh some of the green on that show its wear and tear, so it is uh <sighs> We're getting older, gentlemen. Yeah, it reminds us how, how everything <laughs> in the world is fragile and doomed to end. Um. <laughs> I think about that every time I Thanks, uh, Lego. <laughs> every time I look at my 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 pale man minifigure, and I, I can't move his joints anymore because they're uh, basically like rusted shut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from um. from brittleness. <laughs> But I think before we get into an existential crisis, we should move on to the next <laughs> set. I agree. Um, our next set is set number 70701. Swarm Interceptor went for nineteen ninety nine at the time and has 218 pieces. And this set features our boy Solomon Blaze. Yay! Yay! This Who later ends up being the, the, the chief of the Ultra Asians. Yep. Oh, yeah. But, which is kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, look, here's here's the thing. How many times, we have a fully, we have, like, we people go to space all the time here. How, but how many times do you mention, like, NASA, you know? What do you mean? Uh, like, just because they have space travel in this universe doesn't mean that they always have to be like, hey, did you hear about, you know, it's like yeah, but I mean, he he fought like alien mosquitoes in space. <laughs> yeah, and now he's fighting evil, uh, evil like portal guys and people who are on fire. Like it's just another day for him, you know. Yeah, fair. I mean, he just <laughs> seems to have a very exciting life in general. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. This is your very classic Lego space theme set, I'd say. Like twenty dollars, mm -hmm. small little spaceship little villain side build but like looks like a it's fun pretty set standard yeah yeah this, this, okay no i disagree this is not standard now let me get into why <laughs> oh, no. um so is it because of the function yeah so uh so one <laughs> thing so one thing that you're gonna notice about all of the hero sets is that all of them have a splitting function 
Yeah. Now, or like, now this one is really cool. It has like a uh, what's the the self uh, correcting uh, gyroscope? G- yeah. Gyroscoping, gyroscoping, like, like yeah, yeah, it has a gyroscoping cockpit. Um, oh, is it that? Is it like on a a loose pin? Basically, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And, and so, like, wherever the wings turn, the cockpit will always remain level. Yeah. Um, when you cool. when you separate it, um, it the cockpit basically turns into like a smaller little jet, and you can fold the wings in, and it becomes <laughs> like a mountable turret because the um, you can see like the the uh the missile launcher like on the back basically yeah. like you know folds out and it becomes like a deployable uh ground turret basically okay uh, that's cool the the um the wings become like the legs like like the stands for it um ah, that's so cool and another little detail which i just noticed is if you look at the logo for galaxy squad it shows a ship splitting into two which is like, oh my so gosh like i never thought video. about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I yeah, I, I okay. remember like I I built the set and I was like this this is actually like a really really good like twenty dollar. Uh, oh yeah, for for twenty plane. bucks. For twenty um, bucks, I mean the the price per piece is like pretty much what you'd expect, but it has like the yeah. big wing pieces. Yeah, and with that it functionality, like water, it I I feel like this is like a perfect Lego original theme playset for this I time. Agree. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it's perfectly standard, and I think it's well, like, pretty, pretty good, honestly. Mm-hmm. So it, you mentioned that the minifigure is named, right? Yeah. Yes. Solomon Blaze. Uh, was this the only set he's included in, or? No, he's actually included in the biggest set too. Okay, this so he's is, included in two. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. One second. I think so... he was actually. I think he was actually in three. Let me check. Uh... Yeah, On... he's, in, he's in three. Sets. Okay. He comes in the Galactic Titan, he comes in this set, and he comes in the uh, the Mantis, the Star Slicer. Yeah. <laughs> so the, this set uh, in the aftermarket is retailing for used $24.77, which isn't too bad, and new for $36, uh, which I don't think is terrible. For uh, new, it's not bad. For yeah. new 2013 set, pretty good. Yeah. If yeah. you want to... Like just in case, not have any issues with yellowing or, yeah. you know, breaking <laughs> pieces or anything like that. Uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, and if you want to get the uh, the minifigures, uh, Solomon mm-hmm. Blaze cheapest is a dollar twenty, oh, and the uh, mosquitoid. Cheap. Yeah, the mosquitoid, uh, which is a new alien, um, is uh, oh oh shoot, yeah, the mosquitoids. The cheapest is twelve dollars. <laughs> no, you might as well just buy the set at that point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's no reason not to buy the set if if it's twelve dollars for a. So the mosquitoid is just this one set then. No, no, uh, no he the comes in other set too. Is it's in four sets? That's weirdly so it comes... expensive. Did people just buy it because it I... looks like just too good? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think probably because maybe because of the antenna pieces. I'm not sure. Maybe oh, or like the, maybe the, the wings. Yeah. The wings too, yeah. The the mosquito. Let me see. Yeah, the dark red antennas uh are pretty expensive. Like just oh. one of them is eight dollars. Oh my! Yeah. No. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that's yeah. that's actually very odd. Actually, let me check the. Uh, oh, I feel yeah, like it's probably just because the, uh, not a lot of people would just sell the antennas, right? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I was yeah. gonna say the last six months, uh, the cheapest for new is like a dollar thirty six, which is still <laughs> kind of expensive considering that you're getting a, like probably the smallest piece that has ever been produced. <laughs> <laughs> for a terrible deal. God. Yeah. That is insane. <laughs> but that is, um, that's just how many that... did the set come with spares? Or was it just two? Uh, I think it was. I think it maybe came with three. I'm not sure. All right. So I, if you I, buy, the last time I got a new set that had this was I actually no, it was the Galactic Titan, but uh, <laughs> that was a couple years ago, so I, I don't okay. remember. Because if it comes with two, uh, like one or two extra, 
you can just sell it for eight dollars. Right? <laughs> you're making you're you're paying about retail. I don't think that it depends on if anybody's like willing to pay. Yeah, $8. I don't you think a lot of people know. are going to yeah, pay those eight dollars. <laughs> Just think no, like one desperate guy that's right like, now. I've been looking everywhere for this. I need it. <laughs> need a million of them for my one mark. <laughs> I'm making a, a, a mosquito antenna army builder. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Just the antenna. Is, is it compatible with the, the clone helmet hole? I, I bet it is. It probably is. <laughs> that's oh, probably that same kind you of, could uh, do the um yeah. from the the Clone Wars where they uh get infected by like the worm, the Geonosians. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Geonosians. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, speaking of the mosquitoid, um, um, he also has like a mini little vehicle, which has a transparent of those like wedge people, which I think is pretty cool. But otherwise, That's I think cool. it's not very spectacular, but I mean, it does its job. It's a fun little it side of, build. It kind of reminds me of Space Police 3, like, villain yeah. side build. I like the use of the, oh, uh, what's, what's the English word? Or the handle? Um, oh, the, the... The jackhammer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a fun idea. That's pretty clever. But otherwise, very I simple. I don't, no, I don't <laughs> use that more often. It's got that, um... I wonder, have, is the jackhammer piece still around? I've been wondering oh, that for a bit. I'm sorry, question. that's a bit of a side tangent, but there was yeah. recently a Lego City set where they had a brick built one. Um, oh. So I was nice. wondering if the piece might not be in use anymore, the jackhammer piece. Let's find out. <laughs> We're uh, going on all uh, kinds of side adventures still, today, it's in, but <laughs> it's not a lot of sets though, so it's fine. yeah. Brooklyn it's still fine. says it was in 2023, so oh okay, so maybe it's still around. They just wanted a different look for that city set. Yeah, could be. Um, yeah, it was in the uh, it was in some of the city sets. It was in okay. the, the the volcano ones, but not, I don't I think that was a couple years ago. Yeah, that's been a bit of your. Um, I mean, we should not a big deal. released instead <laughs> of just yeah. color. All right. Well, it, according to this, it's still modernly used, but that is interesting that they opted to use a brick built one for that. Maybe they uh, had a, a parts quota to reach or something. And maybe, maybe, the brick built yeah. one look, looked out. really good, actually. So yeah, I think it's, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, they used it in the hidden side set too. Oh, okay. that was twenty nineteen. Oh no! They they it was in the um it was in a twenty twenty two set. It was in one of those like city sets that everybody forgot about the the build your own adventure kind of. Oh sets. yeah, uh, I re I remember. It was in the space yeah. one. Mm. Okay, oh. the the mission sets, right? Yeah, those ones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. I think we should go back to the <laughs> Galaxy Squad sets. <laughs> Um, yeah. No, I think we need to go our, back to the pieces that are. <laughs> our next set is another great way to get the eight dollar antenna piece. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> set number seven oh seven oh two warp stinger, which goes for twenty nine ninety nine at the time and had three hundred and ten pieces. This one I always found like it looked so unique, uh, so weird with like the, the spindly yeah. legs, and I was always mm -hmm. worried. It would be very like it would fall over easily. I never have mm -hmm. it. Josh, you have it, right? It, I have Does it. It doesn't fall over. That's good. Because because the, okay. the third the third thing is on the tail. The, the tail, see, yeah. Like, but I was floor, wondering so if you like can easily push it back and it falls over. <laughs> I mean, it, no, it doesn't easily fall over. I mean, you can push it and it'll fall over, but it's not yeah. gonna, like it's not just gonna fall over by itself. Okay, that's good. <laughs> the it, it's a pain to build though that tail. <laughs> It's really? basically just a cockpit and then just like an endlessly repeating like yeah, my, uh, my fingers like were bleeding afterward. Not really, but you know. Okay. They were <laughs> I was about to say, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it gets really repetitive the tail build, but um it, it looks is really it, cool. Is it pretty sizable as a build overall? What it's, do you think? It's uh it's about I mean it's taller than like most of the sets, but it's not it's tall. It's not very substantial. Yeah, it's, you 
Yeah, it's not everything, but I mean, it looks pretty tall. So I think that's something. I mean, for it. the for the price, it's it looks very big for the price. Basically. Yeah. yeah, but I that's mean, it's I very it's like thin, <laughs> but takes up a lot yeah. of like space. I guess it does look really cool though. And... It, yeah, I think it's meant to be more like it. It would look better if you imagine that it's flying. I think. <laughs> <laughs> just because like on the ground it just looks kind of yeah. awkward like how would it how would it walk can you um, move yeah. can you move the legs at all no it's no, still okay. in place. yeah that makes sense but that probably is a bit weird if you fly it around <laughs> i mean no hmm. yeah, if it like hovers you could like imagine it being like a like a mosquito which is yeah. i guess it's based off of <laughs> like mosquitoes like their legs kind of hang down you know when they fly yeah so mm -hmm. it i don't find it too weird I guess you could like the little uh, the little vine pieces on the the ends of the legs. You could like yeah. angle them down so they're not kind of sticking out uh, when it's flying, but give the illusion of them drooping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the antenna well, piece in the front falls off all the time, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to like you have to bump it against something, but like yeah. if you're just flying it, I would assume that you would hold it by like the tail. Yeah. Or, you know, the other side of the cockpit, you wouldn't really be um, holding on to, like, you wouldn't really be brushing against the antenna too much. But, I mean, you know, it's it, it's it's a pretty good set. It has one of the uh, the egg pieces on the yes, back. Yes, this is the first is one really with cool. the egg pieces. Oh, I'm going to throw up the picture real quick. Um, those kind of, like, come in some of the sets. You can put a minifigure inside of them. They're, like, oh, yeah. cocoon, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. I think in the story it says like, um, there, there's some story thing about those eggs. Wait, let me look it up again. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never got into the story, so I'm not sure. Uh, um, there was like a browser game where you basically shoot those eggs. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Mysterious race of alien alien. Evil alien bugs are swarming across the galaxy, capturing civilians in cocoons and turning one planet after another into a bugoid hive. Basically, they okay. capture people and put them into cocoons for... We, we don't get details Whatever. what they do with them, but yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can think about yourself if you want. Yeah. Not, not, not gonna be me. <laughs> hey. It's a snack for later. <laughs> um... So this, act, I, I was going to point out, um, this set has a gun build um, for the Mosquitoid. Yes. That I, is a lot cooler. It's basically an up down, upside down scorpion piece. Um, oh. As like a handle, and then it has like a like a, a pan dish to it. Yeah. yeah. That, that one's that really fun. Better, um, for like the bug aesthetic, just like using like bug pieces as the, uh, or you That's know. That's super neat. Mm -hmm. I love that. I thought that was really cool. Another little cool parts usage. If you look at the red speeder, uh, if you look at the guns, the way they're attached is with like a wheel piece. Um, you can see like you know it would be used on um, like a single like axle kind of wheel things you put on like the front of planes, sort of. I think. Um, oh yeah. That that white piece that connects the uh, like the the cylinder piece to like the rest of the build um it's just really cool it's a really cool parts usage usage because it's like two studs on opposite sides mm -hmm. oh um that oh um, i get it there. yeah yeah you see like the, that's a wheel piece but they but yeah it looks like it's just two stud. studs but yeah it's not <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's the uh it's the whole it's like the you would put a tire in it, but they didn't. It's really cool. <laughs> for yeah, for the uh, for the Bionicle fans, this set also has the the Thornax launcher <laughs> uh, and a purple Zamor <laughs> sphere. Which it's interesting that those were still around in 2013. <laughs> I mean, it's so bizarre to think about. I know that they were used for like. Hero I mean, they Factory. used them for Hero Factory quite long. Don't yeah, they. Uh, yeah. Didn't they use the. I think they the used them in Ultra for, Agents too, right? For Mindstorms? Yeah, I did. Genre, oh, yeah, for Mindstorms. Yeah. Okay. So so it's not that set, surprising. <laughs> this is 7701. No. 
7702. Yep. One second. So a used copy on Bricklink goes for 2834. A new copy goes for 3605. That's it's pretty not, good. Yeah. Pretty reasonable, I that's feel. Only like six dollars over its retail price. Yeah. yeah. So that's so you might as yeah, well if you want it. Of course, no shipping, uh, no anything included, but I mean, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> all things um, considered. So this one comes with Billy Starveen. Mm -hmm. Uh the red guy. Um yes. and the cheapest you can get him for is a three dollars. And then the the red robot is like very, um, you can get him like anywhere I think. Really? But he's like he's four seventy five. Okay. Is the cheapest? That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not. Bad. Yeah. The the it's red like robot. Those blue plate pieces. I think they first came in in, uh, Galaxy Squad, right? I think so. Yeah. And I always thought those pieces are super cool, and I'm glad they still like they used them in Ninjago a bit for the the Ice Emperor stuff. So, Did they? I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. yeah, some of the Blizzard Samurai have them. Oh shoot! I didn't even realize that. Yeah, Ice Knight. So, I Ice were... Knight. I'm glad it's I still they around. Those. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad when Lego okay. you know doesn't get rid of their molds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no reason in particular I'm saying that. You know, I'm not uh, <laughs> not annoyed by any specific theme. And also as. Aaron the Savior points out in the YouTube chat the egg the cocoon piece got uh got remolded in Ninjago hands of time for the for the snake eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh really? So, that's cool. That's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> I was trying to remember if that it was the same piece or if it was. I think there's like, there's, like a, but... there's the longer one and there's a smaller one and you can combine combine them and I think the yeah. smaller one also comes in some Galaxy Squad sets, right? It does. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to them. We'll get to them, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think for me that's about it for the set. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, one, one more thing. This is the first appearance of the red team. So apparently the different teams, they had like different traits. So we had the blue team before, which are specialized on strategy and technology. Now we have the red teams, which uh, is specialized on defense and... Ha oh, no, that's the green uh, team. No, I'm sorry. Speed. Expertise <laughs> in speed, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They're the recon guys. Yep. And, and, I, and I have an opinion about the red team. Um, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I I wish that I wish that they got more sets. <laughs> oh, I okay. wish they had they had more because they always yeah they always get the small side no, builds right. <laughs> yeah, there is no like definitive it's red not... team um, mm -hmm. like build. Yeah. It's, um, they're always they always get the side build in the set, which I I really wish that they had kept. Um, that they made the uh the last set the um the plane build uh into a uh, a red team set because like if they specialize in speed and it's like the jet yeah that would make perfect that would sense. Make sense um plus like the blue team gets two like main sets <laughs> they, get the, they get the galactic titan and um the storm interceptor. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh -huh. the Galactic Titan works for them because it's like the command center, you know, and they're like yeah, it's special yeah. tank. Yeah, so I, uh, that that's just my, that's my only opinion on them is I wish. That on the one hand, you're totally cool. right. On the other hand, I'm glad at least once Lego doesn't give all the good stuff to the red guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, good they point. Could, they could still give, make make the Sword Interceptor red and then give the Galactic Titan blue that would still be you know yeah it's still <laughs> I'm, I'm joking i know <laughs> no, it's I... not he's lying <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's it's cool okay yeah yeah i do like these sets oh, i like the, them uh, a lot the orange, yeah. is, the orange is firepower and the green is defense to uh defense yes off. um okay i think we can go to the next set right mm-hmm yeah. We have set number seven zero seven zero three, the Star Slicer, which goes for thirty nine ninety nine and had three hundred and eleven pieces. Ouch! <laughs> that price for yeah, part. that price for yeah. part ratio isn't good. It has a lot of like big hero factory blades, but mm -hmm. I feel like the Warp Stinger is a lot cooler than this. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It looks it this looks is, a lot I more. This is one that doesn't really. Uh, it, it, I never really saw it. It's weird. Hmm. I kind of this is where I come in. Was this a retail exclusive or something? 
probably. All right. It's where I come in with the wacky takes and say this was my favorite of the bug builds. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, just, I, mean, I like the Mantis. The, I like the Mantis bug. I like the Mantis general. look. So, like, seeing it in... I don't know. I've seen this set in person a few times. I never personally owned it. Had a couple friends that did, but I I always liked seeing it. It was always super cool to me. So there's probably some kind of nostalgia, something there for me, where this is the set that I just really liked the most back then. But yeah, that would make I, sense. Uh, yeah, what, it, this one's got a soft spot I, for me. I really like the 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 praying mantis look and like a lot of stuff. I always I think they just like look really cool. What what kind of kills the set for me is that the like the eyes which are made with those red windshields they're open in the back and that kind of looks very mm -hmm. weird to me. Um, yeah, that's fair. But other than that, like, I think it's still like a fun set. It's fine, yeah. This is one of the only sets yeah. that I don't have. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but not 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 because I don't like it. It's just because uh, I just I never bought it. I, yeah, I don't okay. think I ever found a good price for it that I was willing well, to pay. I have good news for you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> for thirty five ninety nine, you can get ninety nine percent of the pieces according to Brickley. I don't know. I looked for complete, and that was showing up. Uh, but the closest second was a four uh, forty nine fifty five, which is pretty high, honestly. Not yeah, that's probably why yeah. I haven't. Bought However, it, but... there is a new copy where the box is in a five out of ten condition for forty five oh six. Still. Yeah, and then the second uh, highest, and the one right after that's fifty three thirty four. Yeah. It is pretty high. Of 10. I want. Yeah. I couldn't find. I, I just looked into it. I couldn't find if it's like retail. Ex like it Solution. says retail limited on on brick set. I don't know if that, that means that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. Um, I'll see if I can find something, but no, it's odd. Yeah. Um. So the the bug the bug in this is a. Is, is a red variant of the uh the bugoid and um it's all dark red pieces oh no, and, oh, no. i didn't think about the one, that <laughs> the one that i own is uh is also like basically sealed together that's uh, you <laughs> yeah it's such a shame too because I, I, I remember I, like the most one. <laughs> I i rotated the arm like i i, I moved the arm and it went like it i could feel it grinding and oh. then I moved it again, and then it just I just suddenly just felt to go like super loose, and then it just sort of hung loosely. Like I uh, completely broke it, but it was still in the in the arm. Okay, Sir Sir Lojohn in the Patreon chat says, if I recall correctly, it was wasn't retail exclusive, just limited run. I could see that. Oh, uh, that could make more <laughs> sense. Yeah, okay. that makes sense because I I remember like not ever seeing this ever. I think I've but, seen. Yeah aftermarket <laughs> yeah i think this was around the time when i was just not buying lego because uh, 2013 yeah yeah roughly because when does bionicle come back i always forget 2015 20... 20... yeah, yeah that's when i got back into it i just took a break and i swapped to a different brand that I can't say the name of. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, next set. Yeah. <laughs> next set. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> um, we have set oh, numbers. Oh, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, I, I gotta say one last thing. Uh, the hero vehicle. The, um, yes. The, oh, yes. The, uh, yeah. So the back part of it comes off, and I guess it's just like a big hover drone looking thing. Oh. Yeah, it's like two it. big cannons. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So that it just kind of going along with the whole splitting function of uh, yeah, yeah. of the sets, but yeah, uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted function. to say. The whole thing yeah. so far. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> funny after so many years, like even nowadays too, like the big emphasis is on combiner builds. Like how can you put these things together? It's funny they had an entire wave dedicated to how can you split them apart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've had that a bunch of times with like sets that you can take out the little vehicle out of the bigger one. Like yeah. a recent example, like the the May jet thing from Monkey Kid, you can take like a little True. hover bike out. So I always like when they do stuff like that. It is yeah. cool. It, it just depends on how well it's implemented, in my opinion. Yeah. Because <laughs> if it's just something, you know, like... If it feels one, like, like forced and it doesn't really yeah. add a lot, yeah. Or if you're, all you're doing is stripping some parts and it's like, oh, it's a faster car now. 
Yeah. yeah. Or like yeah. The, the the action feature is like you can rotate this piece that rotates like yeah you know that rotates already <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's one of those like I I do like when they introduce play features I just don't like when they're kind of why <laughs> kind of boring <laughs> like look you can yeah. angle this yeah you can angle this leg up and down it's like okay, oh cool. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think that's safe to move on I, mean, yes. I don't think there's much else to say about mantis boy i'm very yeah. excited for the next one i always wanted this one um, <laughs> oh i have it it's great oh it's by the way the, uh, the, the red the red bugoid by the way uh, is, is nine dollars cheapest oh my um, gosh yeah i just wanted to throw that in because I, I i wanted to keep that up uh, but good, yeah no, I, I okay. appreciate you're doing that the next one is set number 70704 Vermin Vaporizer. Went for fifty nine ninety nine and has 506 pieces. I'm going to assume the price is that high because of the big wheels, right? Big and wheels, big like side panels yeah. and canopies. I kind of get obviously, it. obviously uh, the Gungan shield, you know, that, that drags up the price by a little. <laughs> um, I mean, isn't it a sticker though? Sure is it a sticker? sticker? Yeah, I but it's, it's uh, 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 uh I want to say it's a print. Um I, I would assume by that point it's Star Wars sets, but Yeah. I could That would be very painful to see, but I I would be surprised. I mean, you have yeah. the set. I mean, <laughs> you yeah. probably know I, better I know, than I know, we do. I know but it's in storage and I don't remember. So <laughs> the minifigure robot drone guy, that yes. helmet. How much yes. would that go for? Just that oh, entire I, figure. I'll look. I'll look it up. It's not that expensive. It's only like okay. four dollars. Oh, it's not too bad for, for the whole thing. Oh, it's, it's sorry. Uh, in the U.S., it's seven or six is the cheapest. Okay, that is not terrible, honestly. It's not terrible. You're getting like an exclusive part, and I think because uh, it's only used in this set, right? I believe uh, so. Okay. Yes. Uh, the only way yeah, to get it is, is this set. And that's cool, I guess. I I, I would I like the shoulder piece too in, in green. Yeah, I kinda like, want the shoulder piece mainly, but it's so cool. <laughs> I might buy the figure at some point as uh somebody who doesn't have a lot of use for minifigures. It looks cool. I built a mini version of this set as a weekly build once. <laughs> oh, oh I feel like you've oh, yeah. seen it. <laughs> Just as a side note. But yeah, this this has also a cool split apart function. Um you can basically yeah. The the turret in the back is a mech. Um, mm. Oh, that's that, cool. That's a really, that. really fun combination. That's actually pretty. It sounds like a really fun one. Uh, um, also, also the uh, the cockpit um, has a deployable like a little rover. Oh so yeah. The, the the cockpit um uh basically opens up the entire front of the of the the, the truck vehicle opens up, and like the smaller you can see like the console look on the inside um where the guy is like you know is at uh it's basically like on a little track and like it'll it, it deploys like this little uh this little rover looking thing nice. instead of gonna find a picture really of it cool <clears throat> compacts to a really nice and solid looking build yeah. by itself i wouldn't just like had you not mentioned them back, the extra. i wouldn't have known yeah, yeah. that's good <laughs> i mean yeah that's... That means it's a good integration. <laughs> yeah, a good I feel like oh, that's a very solid integration. I agree. And um, whenever the uh, whenever the mech's not in it, the back of the truck is like a little lab. Yeah, that, like oh, studies the oh, alien things. Nice. There's a little lab that's in nice. there. There's some detail and some tools. So they use the spa space a lot, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm looking up to see if it's a sticker. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> I'm going these I have to figure this out. So seven, seven. Those claw pieces on the little side build for the bug, the like scorpion walker thing, are those in gunmetal? They look yes. like they're in gunmetal. Yeah, oh. they are. It's cool. It's the same I as remember... like the the skull. Oh no, those are different than the skull spiders, right? But yeah, those, those it's a similar piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this uh this set currently goes for. This is probably the biggest disparity from between used and oh. not and new. <laughs> it's a uh, forty six sixty two used, uh seventy six fifty six uh new. So Jeez. don't know why that increases so much. Uh, uh okay. Yeah, just it's, country it's stuff, but it's not terrible. <laughs> you know, it's like twenty six more dollars if you want it new. I think from I, yeah. Price. 
Wait, I got no. mine for fifty. And it was, Sixteen. Uh, used. That's a good yeah. deal. That's not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> That's not bad was it all. local or was it a? Uh... It was a uh, yeah. It was a uh, local. It wasn't local, but it was like it wasn't on Bitcoin or anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess I should talk about the so the minifigure that comes with this is Chuck Stonebreaker. Uh, mm-hmm. Cheapest you can get him is two forty. So he's not that expensive. Two hundred and forty. <laughs> it's not terrible. Nah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like the set. I, I, the the turret is like, is super cool. Um, I love how it <laughs> it really shows the um, the whole defense aspect of the the green team by like having this really really big uh yeah bulky. This, with this really big like bulky front yeah it, it looks like you could you know shoot it a bunch of times and it wouldn't like do anything to it yeah um and i love the uh just the the giant like cannons that kind of come off it, it just it, it looks cool to me yeah and also the big wheels too the they big really wheel, it. big wheel yeah. it looks like um uh, very much like a space rover too so that, that mm-hmm. fits perfectly. It's not just like a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the alien side build is fun. Nothing too crazy, but I like the the tail build at the back. Um, mm-hmm. the yeah. Scorpion tail blaster kind of look, and then the, the little flick fire missiles for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gross thinking about bug shooting its eyes at you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, any more thoughts on this one? Uh, It's solid. It's It's really solid. It's it's really good. It's my favorite one. And honestly, Fallen Ninjago. I I guess just retheme it to Snake. But I mean, it already has the tail. Just make it slither. (laughs) True. I mean, either either that or Shima Scorpion. True. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. What if the Chima scorpions are actually related to the... <laughs> ah, <no. laughs> oh, man. Coincidence? <laughs> I I do like that all the names are just like... Pretty much just destroy the bugs. <laughs> <in some capacity. laughs> and it just gets funnier. But yeah, it's 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 cool. It's it's kind of it, it's it's a nice to look back at these sets and see how far Lego has kind of gotten in the last decade, right? Yeah, yeah. But I think these still kind of hold up. Kind of. Well. I think they do hold like, up. Yeah, you, you can tell they have some older building techniques and not yeah. many of the like new small pieces that help with a lot of shaping. But yeah. I I don't think they look bad. Like I think with what they have, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mainly looking at something like the mosquito. Like I think that I feel holds up really well compared to sets yeah. nowadays, mm-hmm. and the vehicle builds, of course, are pretty good as well. Yeah, but yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Right. Speaking of names <clears throat> that are basically just kill the bugs. <laughs> um, <That's nice>. <laughs> <laughs> set, set number seven zero seven zero five bug obliterator. <laughs> For seventy nine ninety nine uh, for seven hundred and eleven pieces. This is literally just that one Star Wars ship that people are gonna hate me for not remembering the name of. Like, you guys see it too, right? Which uh, one? There's which like a million Star Wars ships, and they're all the pre- shades of gray. It's the prequel one. You mean the, the gunship? With the, the gunship because of the yeah. two cockpits. I mean, it looks very different. I mean, it looks like the front. It doesn't look anything <laughs> like the Republic gunship. I don't, yeah, about. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it. It looks like, like okay, okay. It looks like the Republic gunship, and then like the Snow Speeder uh, had a baby. I can see the Snow Speeder with the back part, but I can't really see the gunship except for like it's having two cockpits. More than silhouette. It's, it's a, that's that's what I'm getting at with like that sloped kind of like chunky rear and angled front, and then like the. The top mounted down angled small wings to the side, like that's 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 how I see it. But maybe I'm just crazy. I think maybe. you are crazy. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I take the L on this one. <laughs> so they, they throughout this theme, they like using unique heads for the robots, right? Yeah, most of really them have cool. like unique heads. 
Mm-hmm. And I, it's very cool. Like the orange one has a really cool head. <laughs> it does. And, and I, I love that it has the wings too. It's so cool. Yeah, the yeah. wings look really, really nice, honestly. And, the and I like the blaster is... build. It's so over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how they, they went with the firepower theme and they just like went with it with a set. That, so is this, set is this like a, a thousand guns on it? Is this a tank <laughs> or is this a plane? Oh, I was okay. going to ask. So okay. it, it has a split apart function once again. Okay. My, my hot take about this set it is it doesn't look good combined. It just looks good split apart. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, look. Here, here's the thing. Is this a tank that just deploys a spaceship or is this a spaceship that deploys a smaller car? I would say it's a spaceship that deploys the car because, yes, but also I don't know. <laughs> Cause like, is this a ground vehicle that then like deploys an air vehicle, or can it fly with the car attached to it? Um, it's in it space. looks like it'll be. A, it looks okay. Look, <laughs> there's no gravity, so it can fly with the car attached. True. <laughs> right, so but it require what, what more what fuel. You're, what you're saying, Dakota, is that. The last set that we looked at is also a spaceship that can fly. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> no, it has no boosters. <laughs> oh, but they have to use the guns. No. I swear. I swear. That price per part ratio is very weird to me. I mean, it's it not not great. It's it's not great. It's, it's I mean, ten it's... more dollars than it should be, but I mean, I don't see where the big parts would be I, unless it's the plates. I'm assuming it would be the plates. I think the know. windshields and uh, the windshields. The uh, windshields are used yeah. throughout the I feel like, other sets. So. Honestly, if this set came out today with that price per piece, people would probably complain. Yep. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I agree. I like the little side build, the little flying bug. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. I think if it's a bit like blocky. Yeah, it is bl- the, the tail. The, the, the feel... tail. Yeah, the um, tail mainly, but I think that's because of the the egg pod thing. Yeah, yeah. But so, it looks fun, like the wings. This set <laughs> now seven seven zero five is surprisingly cheap. Nice. Used is fifty. Good. New is fifty seven seven eight two. Now that I'm um, looking at that, it doesn't seem right. But let me check again. <laughs> The robot goes for five dollars. It's not, yeah, not, not terrible. Awful. It's not terrible. Yeah. It's exclusive to the. Se- oh no, it's not right. He comes in one more set. Yeah. But that oh, is. Oh yeah. So, so this was the, the the flagship of Wave One, right? This is the most expensive set. No. No, there was no? only one wave. Oh wait. So, oh, I thought it was two because of the way it split up. Oh okay, mm-hmm. on the document. Oh. Oh okay. It's not. Bad. Uh, let me check again. I want to make sure about these prices. Yeah, no, I was right. That's really cheap. <laughs> Maybe it just uh, doesn't come with a lot oh, of DVDs. Okay, there there were two waves actually. Yeah, because yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is I guess a wave. Yeah, this one. is the flagship of wave one. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. I am surprised at how cheap it is though for fifty bucks. It's pretty solid if you want to pick it up. Of course, the shipping wise is, you know, something you got to deal with. But mm. I don't know, fifty dollars is one in the U.S. It comes with box. <laughs> and it's I, mean, I, I feel like that's probably just due to like I don't, I'm not <laughs> seeing really many unique parts here. Yeah, it, it's probably it's not. There's like a lack of unique parts, but I feel like if you want this set, it's not that bad of a deal. Yeah. yeah. It's a really cool build. Um, mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it, it comes with some cool minifigures. Um, it comes two human minifigures. Ashley Star Strider goes for about four dollars, and okay. Jack Fireblade goes for a dollar forty. So, I think he's okay. the one who comes in the um, the mech. So he's uh, he's not exclusive. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I really he like comes, this. He comes in three sets. Oh, he's special. <laughs> oh, he comes in a poly bag. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, there, there were two poly bags. Yeah, there were two saw, poly bags. Like, I didn't include those. Those on. It's just poly bags. Like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I I like to set a lot split apart. I don't think it looks cool combined, but, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Could just yeah. be cool. Oh, yeah, two it's... cool vehicles. <laughs> I can agree with that. Yeah. I like how the cockpit on the uh, the ship like 
comes down when it's not, you know, when it's detached. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Overall, a really cool, like, transformation. So this, to make sure these sets were released, at least worldwide, unlike um, Agents, right? Like, Agents was just that one time they weren't released. I guess there's other sets, but other ways, other... Uh... I think they were mostly released worldwide, yeah. Uh, I read that there are some places in Europe they weren't available in, but I think like most normal places you'd get other Lego themes, you'd probably be able to get these. I'd find it, yeah. But yeah. Okay, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's it's a... Honestly, as the flagship of Wave 1, I, I do think it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, if you like orange, I guess, too. I mean, <laughs> I particularly don't care for orange. <laughs> but I think it's cool looking. That's the Lego Universe assembly color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that was the first wave of sets. The second wave of hey, sets came out. wait a minute. Out. They all oh. have the color schemes. The Lego the Universe assembly. ones? The blue, yeah. the blue team is, been, is the, uh, the Sentinels. You have the green for the uh, Venture League and the red is the Paradox. Yeah, it's almost like oh, Lego likes using together. primary colors. Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it used the same thing with Ninjago, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't use or well, I guess it kind of used orange for coal, but not really. Gylor, uh, but yeah, not really. Yeah, not really. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, anything so else about the first wave, or should we move on? I do think it's a as a as a way overall, I think it's a pretty good start. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's it's a good mix of builds. villain yeah. sets and hero sets. Um, I do think the only issue is you know not a there's not a large villain set to compete with the other ones, but I think that gets resolved later. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. I f I also feel like the warp stinger for and the star slicer, even yeah. though they're like cheaper sets, they they are like big enough structures to. Be imposing to, sort of, to the yeah, big vehicles. I, I think yeah. I, I can. Yeah. 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 I mean, then again, like I'm not sure how else they would like <laughs> a giant spider. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> or some. I mean, we'll yeah. Get there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, I think we can move on to. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wave two. The wave two came out in May or early June of 2023, and our first set of the wave is set number seven zero seven zero six. Crater Creeper. Oh man. Uh, $19.99 mm -hmm. for 171 pieces. It it is fine. Fine. It's fine. It's a big <laughs> bug. It's a yeah. big bug. Are those the claw pieces Meso got a bunch of, or are those other claw yeah. pieces? That's just those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has a snapping function, function yeah. right? On the okay, rubber band. Cool. Yeah. Mm. That's cool, I guess, for for the time. I mean, it looks it, pretty basic. It's <laughs> pretty guess. basic. Yeah, but, it's, but the legs don't move. Fine. Um, mm -hmm. but I think it it looks cool, and it's, I agree. It has the aesthetic you'd want for the yeah. the villains here. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think I, I think I agree. <laughs> it's fun. Out of the, the two, uh, Okay. Out of the two twenty dollars sets in this theme, it's the weaker one. But yeah. you know, whatever. I think I can agree with that. I I also kind of dislike the side build. I do feel like it's just kind of a boring side build. It's like a little turret, mm -hmm. right? Or is it a hovercraft? I think it's like a little speeder it... hovercraft. Yeah. Okay. Just round. <laughs> it's alright. I do think the biggest downfall of a lot of these bug builds is like immovable legs. Yeah. They're, they're Just the fact the... that they have to be stagnant or yeah, in yeah, one position. It's it's that's old Lego techniques for you. <laughs> yeah, stability. Yeah, I mean Exo Force, the giant spider thing, I think was also stationary. I don't think it could move if I remember correctly when we talked about it. Uh, so on the second hand market. This is going for eleven dollars used to eighteen ninety nine new. Uh that's good. Very cheap. Than the original cheaper price. than retail. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Uh I don't think it's that unique of a set to if you like maybe if you like that build, go for it. But I personally don't think it's worth it. 
So buy twelve maybe, of them. And do a I mess mean, I mean, for it. ten bucks, ten bucks, yeah. I mean, maybe but, if you need eight more black Hero Factory claws for your Hero <laughs> Factory yeah. claw collection. <laughs> if your name is Mesonek, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you I might think have a use for this too. This one doesn't but, even have like that. The other ones all have like cool split up functions and stuff. So I feel like yeah. this kind of suffers from not having any of that. Yeah, you know? I can agree with that. It's just kind of a basic thing. Yeah. It, also, it, no it no play. exclusive minifigures or anything. Yeah, that does uh. kind of hurt hurt us at times. I don't have much else to say about it. Not about you yeah. guys. Me neither. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, All right. Then the next set is set number seven zero seven zero seven. CLS eighty nine Eradicator Mech. Um, for thirty nine ninety nine for four hundred and forty pieces. Yeah, this one is, is great. I love it. I kind of want to buy it because it looks it's, really cool. It's, it's so good. It's very like it's a mech, but also a spaceship, and the combination mm -hmm. looks a bit weird but interesting. It's not like I don't think we have a mech like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we it have feels, one like this anymore. It, it feels very like. Classic Lego mech. Yeah. <laughs> I I love how the wings of the spaceship like form the the shoulder mm -hmm. like plates. Yeah, it looks like the robot a bit. The the minifigure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the uh the alien side builds are cool. I like how they're like yeah, this living, is... they're living creatures and not. Is this the first um, time we don't have we we don't have an alien minifigure included? I don't. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. Really but cool. th but they have like the studs to put one there, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I find interesting is that you get like two almost the same builds in the set in the same set. Yeah, like, that, that's one with wings, is... one without. Like, why? I, why I did feel they like do they that? Just made them both with wings. It would have I been mean, much cooler. Would have been nicer, well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's also like interesting. I don't think that's something Lego would do nowadays. Like. At no, I, I two agree. I builds that similar <laughs> in one set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be something about like you know certain insects. Like some will have wings and some don't. And they wanted to represent that somehow, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say they're reminiscent of ants, but like, they're not really reminiscent. <laughs> Maybe because yeah, they're small. It's I'm thinking like a glow worm with the Maybe big cocoon yeah. on the back, which yeah. this one has the the half. Uh, the, the like the smaller half piece which they use mm -hmm. for Ninjago. Yeah. So on the aftermarket, this was also one of the strange ones. There is a used one offered that is missing a single sticker for twenty four forty nine, right? But if you want the sticker, the second cheapest one that is complete is forty two dollars with eleven cents. <laughs> That's not bad. That's like almost retail. Yeah. yeah. But if you want that one stick if you don't care about the sticker, you got a good deal. And new is retailing for well, not retail. Re new is going for seventy. <laughs> uh, so I think that's fine. I do think it's a pretty solid set, design wise. Mm. Yeah, I don't, it I reminds don't, me a lot of the Zane, the original Zane's Titan mech, the mm -hmm. one from Possession. Mm -hmm. I, I see yeah. a lot of like similar like build <clears throat> style in in the leg construction, for example. It's just like the way they built mechs at that time. I think. You're not yeah. making me think of what the set would look like now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. We got a revamp. <laughs> <That'd be awesome. laughs> but uh, but yeah, the set's cool. I think it has like a deployable little like bomb thing in the spaceship Ooh, uh, in the back of it. Know. Like it has a little like uh, a little door that opens up in the back of the spaceship, and then you can like mm -hmm. drop a a little mine or something like that. That's cool. Yeah, it does slightly bug me that the uh, one of the gunner hands for the mech is not symmetrical, <laughs> or like they're not not oh, symmetrical. It has, like, the, it ones, has, it has the, the one little like bushing sticking out of it instead of the translucent yellow cone. I oh. think it so it doesn't slip off. I think it has like it has a flick fire function, and oh, might be because of that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Th those oh, okay. yellow thing, like the yellow cones, are on flick fire missiles, and you can shoot okay, them. Okay, so it, it still doesn't fall off. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it would be they could have just put. Oh, I guess not. Some kids no, it, it, it's because it, like it has like these um activator things in the back of it, and I think that if they had yeah, if they had the the connector in the center, then they wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, well, they wouldn't have been couldn't, another. Couldn't you replace that with a yellow cone, and it should maybe could still hold it because they do have an axle. It would have some wiggle it room be because of it. Yeah. Yeah. I would have still preferred so. that personally. <laughs> yeah. You, but, if you buy it, you or, can or at least nobody's like, stopping you. The Lego police won't stop you. Uh, I'll maybe. stop you. I'll come to your house. <laughs> Keeping it retail. You're not allowed to mod it. <laughs> a, a, a man has replaced the gray bushing with a yellow cone in Lego City. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Built a police helicopter. <laughs> Send him straight to jail and save the day. <laughs> New from Lego City. I do think of all the sets we've seen so far, though, I think this is my favorite design-wise. Mm -hmm. It's very unique, you know. I would have liked to see. I would have liked if they had more mechs in general, but you know. yeah, yeah. When are we gonna get all the Titan mechs for every <laughs> uh, every faction? That would have been cool. But yeah, no, I think so far the, the the sets have been pretty consistently solid. Yeah, I think they the, all have the, something the that makes them very interesting. Everything mm -hmm. but the the recent Maybe, twenty dollars set. Yeah, the, the crater <laughs> yeah. creeper. Not not yeah. that much. I mean, it has a fun yeah. like function in the front. But yeah, I think that's the not that fine, special. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you know the Vizorak had that. <laughs> the next one is one I really like a lot too. Um. It's set Big. number seven zero seven zero eight. The hive crawler went for sixty nine ninety nine at the time for five hundred and sixty pieces. Huge insect monster walking base, I guess. <laughs> this one is so cool. Okay. Okay. How much do the little bug guys go for? Oh, that's the... a good question. Because they don't. They're only in two sets, right? Yes. Uh, Thank let me. I, uh, I'll look it up, um, but uh, I was gonna say that um, uh, this the set has okay. First of all, it has the Mantazoid, mm -hmm. which only comes in another set. It's a Galactic Titan, um, but so the set has a couple functions which are really cool. You guys are talking about like the fact that you can't move the legs. Yeah, um, yeah. It has like an auto walking feature. All the legs oh, wow. are uh, all the all the legs are kind of hooked up to like a wheel. Like, yeah. You, it, it rolls, and so whenever the wheels roll, it like moves, uh, like something down to the bottom, which then moves all these like. Or it does a bunch of like technic stuff that like makes the legs like walk. For the Bionicle fans, it's a bit like the 2003 Puku. <laughs> yeah, I love that too. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> that's that's cool. I really um, love the printed wind shield pieces, like those dome. From mm -hmm. the eyes, oh, yeah. it's great. Um, God, this reminds me of an stickers. early version of the the Spider Queen set from from Monkey Kid. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't that also have like a a walking function too? I think so. Yes. Cool. Oh, and another, another feature this has is uh like the egg catapult on the back. Yeah, I saw it that has, on the side. It has a little chamber uh that like holds the egg, so it can hold. I think. I think it only holds two eggs, but yeah. still, like, it it shoots it, and then like when it goes back up, it loads the next one, and then you can pull that's it down. That's a that's a lot of unique pieces for, you know, the last year of a way, the last wave of of a of, of series. Yeah, I wonder that's if they had strange. more planned. <laughs> they might have. I mean, the thing is with this, we we probably will never know unless no, we they probably won't look with everything because yeah. like it was very. I think it's a private company usually meaning that they can just keep their stuff to them yeah i'd love to know uh so on the second hand market 70708 goes for 4975 used 8135 new which is not bad um it's i feel like it's standard -ish. i'm not sure how you guys feel about that i mean for like the set that you get it's it's pretty all right mm -hmm. I, I i didn't get this resale i got it i got it uh retail so 
So you got okay. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it when it like first came out. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. I think that's fine. I don't think it's too terrible in the aftermarket. Um, it looks pretty hefty. I don't know what it's supposed to be though. Like what type of insect? I would say a beetle, but I don't think it looks like any beetles I know. Yeah, kind of like a beetle. I kind of. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, I think this is probably the set. People will probably complain about the price to piece again. Uh, 560 pieces for like seventy dollars. Not that great, but it has a lot mm -hmm. of very big pieces. Yeah. Um, I kind of get it, but yeah. So we have one last set. The uh, set number seven zero seven zero nine, the Galactic Titan. It went for nine ninety nine. Uh, ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> it has <laughs> one thousand and twelve pieces. That's um, a standard one, price for part ratio nowadays. Wonderful set. Yeah. Big tank. It's great. I don't know what else you could ask for. Does it split into like a ship? It it it's a tank that deploys a gunship. Okay, that's really <laughs> cool. Honestly, so, for a and it also comes with a couple little side builds, uh, which come with a bunch of dark red Exoforce arms. Oh. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Rest ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four 18, 19, 20, 24 in total. Um, <laughs> Give or take. That was, no, 20, yeah, 24. That was the most nervous I've ever been building a set. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you had to put a bunch of uh, a bunch of the little tooth pieces at the end of it too. Ugh. I was just like, was... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, and then the the piece that broke for me was um one of those little like window uh, pieces mm -hmm. that like hold you know the the little tower. Yeah. Um, the little, little tower up. One of those things just shattered as soon as I put it down. Gosh. Um, yeah. So I just I just didn't have it on because it can still stand with three. Um. But the the play feature of that is yeah, it has a little lever at the uh, it has a little like thing at the bot in the back of it and you like press it it knocks the egg off of the tower. Oh, so I'm nice. guessing it's kind of like you know it's like if you like disturb the nest and then the egg like bursts. it falls out. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Um. So uh so yeah this is a this is a gunship. Um. It the tank basically like. I guess deploys it, and then once that happens, there's a like a gun, um, like a, a huge cannon, like in the bottom yeah. of it, it, like folds out, and it has two of the uh, the Technic missile launcher pieces in it, um, and they can be rotated up and down and all that. I think independently cool. too, and uh, so it's so it's not like the you know it's not like it just deploys a gunship and then the the tank is like it's just a, a little vehicle stand. It's actually like mm -hmm. a real it also has its like own a whole thing stuff too. Yeah. Okay. It's That's it's cool. it's a whole set even without the the tank or without the gunship. And then the the ship has um uh the wings can like fold down and uh it it has flip fire missiles on the legs but that's about it. But it still looks really cool. It's got a dual cockpit. Um it uh yeah. That's cool. It's neat. Yeah. Then you, I remember you got this. You said second, watching, hand, right? Oh, I, I got it. I got it new, new but I got okay. it like I got it. You know, a couple okay. years ago. It's not bad. You can go ahead to go to sorry. Yeah, sorry. I remember <laughs> watching a review back in the day, and I was very impressed with the function. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever want to, like, if I ever have the time, or like in in like, if if I ever just have the energy to, I guess I really want to build. Um, a, a deployable like pods that can go th th there's basically like a space that's very hollow it doesn't show you in the, any of the pictures mm -hmm. but the underside of the gunship is really hollow because it's meant to fit on um the uh the tank yeah so it's basically just like a cockpit and then it has like a like uh a thing at the top that holds the wings and that's about it there's a huge empty space down below and i really wanted to like have um a deployable like a troop carrier or like something like that or like a yeah. weapons rack or something that you could like attach to the bottom of it that you that could then 
Yeah, just make it like more useful. So like mm -hmm. it can deploy from the tank and then it can like pick up troops and like take them somewhere else. I feel like yeah. that would be like very uh blue squadron kind of that like something nice. that a team would the do. Current re oh, well, aftermarket price for the cheapest used one complete is a hundred and four dollars fifty cents for a new one forty six forty cents. Which I guess this it's is probably a bit more. It's a bit yeah. more, but it, I think it falls in line with what what you're honestly getting as well. It's it's a lot of treads, not well, yeah. you know, rubber treads. It's a big set, big pieces, the big like set, massive. big pieces. Yeah, the worst part, obviously, being the uh, the EXO Force arms that might break. <laughs> <laughs> Past that, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it looks really cool, and I feel like as a send off to the series as a whole, I think it's pretty good way to end it yeah it's very impressive I, I am curious what, would have, what they would have kept doing i mean they would have run out of bugs eventually right <laughs> <laughs> never run out of bugs there's like millions of bugs there's millions of bugs the right they made i feel like of the ones that they could make big monsters of they they kind of did maybe excluding like a cool beetle like a rhino I mean, beetle they could something. they could move to spiders they could move to they like... could move to spiders um, uh, scorpions, I guess. Yeah, I guess they kind of did a scorpion set. Kind of, yeah. Um, they uh, could do. And do a lot of ants. <laughs> ants, yeah. They could do uh, beetles, dragonfly, a dragon, a dragonfly. Oh, that would have been carrier. Cool. That would have been cool. Where they, where they like the the bugs can like fit in the tail. That would have been really cool. It. And you drop that them like drop so cool. Yeah, that would be so cool. <laughs> Because like dragonflies, they hover, so it would be like a hover yeah. ship. Yeah. Like okay. <laughs> okay. You're kind of me. Brick. Yeah, like a light brick aiming down. So you know. Um, take notes, Lego. I don't think you're gonna take notes on a ten-year-old theme. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it back. I promise. Lego, bring back Galaxy Squad, please. Uh, <laughs> Galaxy I Squad, think, like. I am. I am just impressed by the amount of unique molds for this entire series as a whole. For all the minifigures, especially. Yeah, for all yeah. the minifigures, like the little bug babies. The robots. The pods, the eggs. Like, it's it's surprising. Because I don't... You know, at times we do see it, but I don't feel it's as common. Yeah. You know, yeah, with the robots specifically, like, that's what, four unique minifigure molds for four different robots. I wonder how that's much higher their budget was back then for unique molds. I mean, I don't know, but I feel like the, the, a lot of those are very like one-time use molds too. So yeah. I don't know if that would is a smart investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a hyper-specific piece. Like, could they use it again someday? Maybe. Probably. Are yeah. they going to? We don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Seeing as yeah. where we are right now, we yeah. haven't seen them in a while. Oh, I was gonna say, um, this piece, this this set also has the um. The Mantisword weapon, which are two axes that use the same uh, blade piece that, like, the same, like, blue oh, piece yeah. that the, uh, mm. in dark the red, red team had. Yeah, in dark red. Which is a really cool, like, a really cool build. Hmm. I dig that. And it's right next to the generic alien blaster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love generic I alien blasters. Alien blaster. uh, I don't understand why they didn't just give all of them that like scorpion gun looking thing. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, they could have like made a more themed weapon, but I I feel like they, they did. Maybe they did have a limit on how much how many new pieces they could make, and they. Were I mean, like, I think okay. it's fine. What they I think it's used, fine. Yeah. So. Yeah. Maybe a different color would have been better. I don't know. That maybe. Yeah, they yeah. in like green. That would have been. Yeah, like good. a like a neon green or. Something mm -hmm. like that would have been cooler. Red. Yeah, yeah, something that would have fit more with the, uh, the overall aesthetic. aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that about covers it, right? Yeah, or I feel like does cover theme? the series as a whole. What are yeah. your overall thoughts on the theme? I love it. It's great. It I think up? it's a really cool. Like, it's unique to see how many um, unique molds and all that. I've gone into old themes and we don't see them again. Like those molds have not been reused as far as I know. Maybe mm -hmm. once or twice, you know, in a one-off set, but 
and you know the unique building like i think josh he said that each team has like their own you know style sort of mm -hmm. and i think that's something we don't see a lot of anymore mm -hmm. because it's teams not just individual characters so i i think it's pretty cool um wish we did see more stuff like this i like space over yeah. uh you know ninjas or city or uh to be Stuff fair, like in city, city is the space, or is the theme we get space nowadays? I guess <laughs> we get we get <laughs> regular all, like space. realistic stuff. Yeah, realistic, not, like, yeah, sci-fi. Which is fine, but it's not sci-fi. I, yeah. I, want, I want fewer space shuttles and a more, more like gunship, you know, kind of. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want <laughs> yeah. more like yeah, more um, more out of out there, you know, eighties. Like, yeah, more like space. science fiction fantasy. Yeah, more, in more space. like yeah, more more type of uh, popcorn flick stuff. That's more. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I do kind of miss that Lego doesn't do that as much anymore. <laughs> like one-off mm -hmm. themes, like what was it? Is it Monster Monster Fighter? This um, agents stuff that. Yeah. You know. Just one doesn't off. need like it has a story, but it's not the main focus. It's just here's some fun sets. Yeah, the closest we recently had was Hidden Side, I'd say. Yeah, I think Hidden Side would be the closest as like something like, uh, you know, Scooby Doo esque, I guess. Video. <laughs> and no, 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 we don't talk about video. Rest in peace, video. Uh, never getting was it the no, it wasn't the Emmy. It was the Grammy, right? Is yeah, I think it's the Grammy. Was? Yeah, he never got it. He never will. <laughs> What I would uh, say yeah. about these is yeah. like these have such unique functions with the mm -hmm. split ups, the the like different bombs you can drop, different functions. And I feel like yeah. stuff like that you can only really do well in original themes because like I if agree. you have a source material, it has to look like that and can be yeah. a lot harder to incorporate a function because of that. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. this this theme was a really cool combination of cool looking vehicles, but that integrate functions well. Yeah. Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, I, I do kind of miss. I mean, yeah, it is. It is like one core, one core idea for all sets is, is that they can yeah. split up. And I guess the closest we have is like as something that can do that is the Evo sets, right, for Ninjago, where they're. I mean, core it's a very is, different. It, it's a very different thing, but yeah, it's, it's still like the core theme is, I guess, evolving the set, right, changing it from one thing to another, but it's not splitting up or anything. It's yeah. just random stuff. Like this add, golden <laughs> add golden pieces or add golden pieces or remove pieces it's very weird it's not i don't think it's like fairly across the board like this one yeah but yeah and i would love to know more of why you know i was it the green ones right they didn't get a a big set no no, no they didn't no, the, the red ones didn't no. red ones yeah like it would have been nice to see them get one thing yeah like a ship or something but we'll never know why they if they cut the line short, or maybe they didn't, and this was always intended for two waves. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have anything else to say. Back final fun. final thoughts. <laughs> I think it was pretty exemplary of the time period um, that it came out with in terms of the build styles, <clears throat> parts usage, just and it really set a precedence. I think for. Um, how to incorporate set functionality and striking visuals going forward. But I don't know if we've quite captured anything as visually striking as these were when they first came out yet. Like I there there's probably a few examples here and there, but in terms of like an original Lego theme, this had a very fascinating and distinct feel to it that I don't feel like we've had for a hot minute. And it could just be because of how older LEGO sets are done, and it could be nostalgia blinders on, but maybe that's yeah. my takeaway. I, I miss this era of LEGO. Um, yeah. I think we've come such a long way in terms of building techniques and parts usage that um, I would be really happy to see another theme like this come around mm -hmm. because just imagining how some of these sets would be done today with modern building techniques, it's, it'd be really cool. <laughs> I do find it, it cool. kind of crazy how, like, space fans are very much like, we want more space, we need another space theme. 
but these are in the aftermarket super cheap. <laughs> yeah. So it's very much like, I think the space fans mostly just want like classic space, like yeah, the style which... of the original space. And these, or maybe Blacktron, you know, stuff I like assume that. like if the, if the aftermarket prices are that low, they're not like, they don't really have a dedicated fan base that much. Um, mm-hmm. This was our last original space theme, right? Yeah, or... it was. Okay. So maybe it just didn't sell... Well, if maybe. it didn't sell well, then maybe the aftermarket prices would be higher, I feel. Because the I sets mean, wouldn't be readily available. It depends. Like it's most, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell, really. Yeah. Lego like, oh, aftermarket is really weird, and I know that. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of an interesting, like... It's like its own topic on its own. Yeah. It's it's a very much, like, the end of an era, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Of space, original space themes. It's kind of sad to see that, like, yeah. we haven't gotten one since... <laughs> been like 10 mm. years <laughs> what do you mean we got a wave in monkey kid it wasn't even a wave it was like it was a chunk of a wave yeah no two there is the yeah. ship and the, the the rabbit yeah <laughs> to the moon yeah i think that's about all for me um that's about all, yeah. yeah yeah same so, i enjoyed talking gonna... about this yeah me too it was fun, <laughs> was fun. Um, you my do... creepy crawler give me a dollar <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do the plugs real quick. Um, Sounds good. Thank you all so much for watching. We keep the peace. Please subscribe for more fun Lego content. If you want to support what we do, you can go to patreoncom slash the TTV channel. And if you want to keep the discussion going, go to the TTV message boards on boards.ttvchannel.com. We have some fun um, bionicle contests going on there right now, right, Zach? <laughs> Heck yeah! And. Uh, if you want to stay updated about the stuff we do, you can follow us on Twitter on twitter.com forward slash the TTV channel. And yeah, I think that's about it for today. I hope you all had a fun time. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been your host, Sakoda. I'm Leo. I'm Starbreaker. And I'm Josh. And thank you so much for tuning in.